Each runway has 2,000 lights. The apron has over 20,000. And inside the terminals, there's another 900,000. All of this demands electricity, and lots of it. Every year, the airport pulls in over 600 million kilowatt hours. That's a higher power use than some countries. By surveying the entire airport, we can reveal its enormous electrical grid. 400 kilometers of cables, and 180 substations keep every key system running. It's all monitored here, in the Electricity Control Center. Our job is to get the airport working constantly, every night, every day, 365 uh, days a year. Keeping his eye on the power supply is Ulrich Wittiberg. 14,3 MV. You have a blackout of the airport, it would cost a lot. One million euro for an hour or one million and a half. Customers are used to fly without any interruptions. A power outage can bring an airport to a complete standstill. This is a nightmare. This is Sydney. In 2014, a fault in one of Sydney Airport's substations causes a blackout. A lot of us were there trying to check in, but haven't been able to. For four hours, passengers can't check in or be screened. Millions of dollars are lost as thousands of passengers are left stranded. At Frankfurt, one of the world's busiest airports, a complete power failure must never happen. And due to some clever engineering, it never will. If there would be any problem in the power supply of this airport, we will have backup generators, 70, 75 backup generators. These monster diesel engines are also used in German 212 class submarines. But here, they could power flight control. Security systems and the runway lights. 